this is Peter Charles and welcome to my video on tying the grey cat. Now this particular fly I use a little differently compared to my other wet flies. Uh, often when we're fishing a river we'll find a relatively small run that looks like it should be fished with a nymph rig, but we may only have a two-hander with a swinging gear with us, so what do you do with it? So we can do something called swim fing, which is basically using our uh, sink tips or our full sink heads to uh, make an upstream cast, high stick the fly down through the run, and then swing it out through the bottom. And it gives us the option of fishing a, a nymphing run and yet not have to put on a bobber and split shot and all that kind of stuff. So this fly is made deliberately buggy to exploit that. Uh, it, it works dead drifted as well as swung, and I've taken quite a few fish with it. So here's how we tie it. Quite simple. Uh, the tail is from a golden pheasant using the red breast feathers and neck feathers. The wing is gray squirrel. The body is a beige mohair. It has a gold tag and a rib and just a brown hen hackle. Quite simple. Now in order for this fly to be successful it has to get down so I tied on a heavy wire hook. In this case I'm using a B190 deep water salmon size 1. If you want to use a light wire hook, I suggest you add a little bit of lead to help it get down. The thread is Uni a dot in a dark brown, and we'll start that just in front of the hook point. I'll be using Uni Mylar in a gold silver size 12. Since I want the gold to show, I'll tie this in silver side up and I'll leave that tag in the length of the return. Okay, now we're going to tie in our tail, which is uh, a red feather from a golden pheasant. I'll just give this a bit of a fold. I'll just check it for length and position. I want it roughly a little bit more than half the gape. Now I'll tie in our rib. It's uni French gold medium size. I'll tie that alongside again to the return. I'll tie everything down. Trim off and put that in the material holder. Now the body's got to be made out of uni mohair and a beige. I like this material because it's quite buggy and when it absorbs water it will darken up. So I'll just pull that back into position, wind it down, keeping it along the side to fill up that space. Don't want to crowd the eye too much. A couple of half hitches. Now I don't put this on too tight because I want to pick it out afterwards fluff it up. This is bulky stuff so I said don't get it too close to the eye. Lock it in. Now we got some strays in there so just pull those back and wrap them off. There we go. I'm just going to give that a little quick pick over with my old gun cleaning brush here. Pick some of this out. There we go. Now I'll tie in my rib. One little wrap to begin with and then we'll it through the body.
a hackle is mottled brown hen. I'm just going to tie this in by the tip. I'll spread some of those fibers back. Tie it in. And I've got to leave both sides on this time. In other flies I tend to strip one side. But I want this fly to show well when it's dead drifting. So I will leave both in. And just pull off the tip. Some half inches. Hackle pliers out. Now I'll fold these barbs back as I wrap. If you get any ones getting trapped underneath, use your bodkin afterwards to pick them out. Sometimes. Wrap forward, fold the quill over, wrap back and pop off. I'll just use my toothbrush to uh, separate them. Good look at it. It looks good. Got a few strays coming from that uh, material, that mohair. Now for our wing, we're going to use gray squirrel. Yeah, nice barring on it, nice white tips. Uh, we're not going to use a big clump here. It's going to keep a sparse wing. As always, I grab it by the tip, stroke the small fibers off into the garbage can. Now we'll measure it. We're rough, roughly half the tail there. Cut it over the garbage can. I tie this in, I'll bring my thread back first and then I'll just bring it into the middle of that squirrel clump and then I'll wrap over. Put a few wraps in, I'll just check my position to make sure nothing has moved. Now that looks good. Now we finish it off. That first wrap that goes through the middle of the squirrel will help lock it in place. Squirrel is quite slippery, so it can slip out. If you're worried about that, you can always use a water-based head cement and put a few drops of that cement in the base of the fibers and that'll hold them in place as well. Now we whip finish, and now we're ready for our head cement. There we go, the gray cat. Very simple tie, nice and buggy. Shows well when dead drifted, uh, tracks very well, good clear water fly when you don't want something that's loud and bright that might put the fish off. And use it dead drift or use it swung out either way and <laughs> hang on when that fly begins to swing because that's when they usually crush it. Anyway, enjoy. Mm -hmm.